Okay, so when you are thinking about North Georgia and maybe you haven't been here, you might be thinking about this. Or maybe you're thinking about this. And I know some of you are definitely thinking about this. Well, I've got some news for you. That may not be exactly what North Georgia looks like. So we're gonna dive into this today and kind of show you what you can get in North Georgia for about $400,000. Hey everybody, my name is Tim Gibson and I am a realtor in North Georgia. And my channel is all about North Georgia real estate. If you have not already, please subscribe. We're gonna be putting out a lot of content this year. And as always, if you're thinking about moving to North Georgia or if you just have any North Georgia real estate questions, please give me a call, send me an email. My contact info is right here on the screen. All right, so I've been doing this for over a year, almost two years now doing these YouTube videos. I've been talking a lot about North Georgia and North Georgia real estate. And I've gotten a lot of calls, a lot of emails, a lot of texts from people from all over the country. And I'm super grateful for everyone reaching out and asking questions about North Georgia real estate. So now that I've been doing this quite a while, I'm starting to see some patterns that are happening from uh, different parts of the country, people calling in, texting, emailing, or whatever. So one of the typical type of calls that I'll get, and obviously this is just an example, so this isn't the exact same conversation to have with everybody but a lot of times people will call and say hey you know i want a few acres uh, maybe three four five acres on top of a mountain and i want a you know two three thousand square foot cabin and i want to overlook a lake and can i get something like that for around you know 250 three hundred thousand dollars well unfortunately <laughs> the answer is no uh, north georgia like i mentioned in some of my other videos north georgia is relatively inexpensive when you consider places that are on the coast like in Florida, I get a lot of calls from people on the coast of Florida that are wanting to move up into the mountains. People from Texas, people from California, people from up north. So when you think of the more urban areas, the more populated areas or the higher priced areas in the country, or even in Georgia, close to Atlanta, is North Georgia inexpensive compared to those areas? The answer is yes. And all of this really kind of depends on what areas you're looking in, because as I mentioned before, North Georgia is massive. I mean, it's like the top third of the whole state of Georgia. So you've got to factor in that there are all different communities, all different towns and cities all across North Georgia. Was North Georgia inexpensive? Yes, at one time, sure. Yeah, North Georgia was an expensive place to buy a house. Pre-COVID, it was definitely expensive like a lot of other areas. But now you probably can't even buy a shed out of the parking lot of the Home Depot for 150 grand. So what I thought would be fun in this video would be to show you some different areas. We're gonna pick four different areas in North Georgia. They're all kind of distinct in their own way. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these four areas and we're gonna show you what you can buy real estate wise for about the median home value based on the US Census data. So this would be kind of a fun exploration for us to see what's actually out there and what you can actually get for your money. All right, so one of the most popular searches that lead most of you to my page is a town called Blue Ridge, Georgia. Blue Ridge is known for, it's obviously the picturesque views. You've got a lake close to Blue Ridge. You've got some really cool town square restaurants. You've got breweries. You've got all kinds of fun stuff to do there. Very popular destination for people going on vacation, weekend getaways, things like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna show you what you can get for about the median sales price in the US in Blue Ridge, Georgia. So first and foremost, we're gonna show this house and this is a two bedroom, one bathroom cabin. It's listed for $405,000 in Blue Ridge, like I mentioned. So you got 672 square feet. House is built in 2001 and sits on about three quarters of an acre. So the house is pretty small. Like I mentioned, you got less than a thousand square feet, two bedrooms, only one bathroom. This definitely looks like a vacation rental. All right, so you gotta let me know. Did you think this was a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller than you thought you could get for about 400 grand in Blue Ridge? Okay, so we're gonna go a little bit further south from Blue Ridge. We're gonna go down to LJ. Blue Ridge is close to Tennessee, North Carolina, almost across the border. And LJ is a little further south. All right, so this next house you can get for right about $420,000. Cool cabin looking uh, set up there. It looks like a vacation rental again. It's a cool looking house in uh, LJ. You got the nice uh, metal roof there. It's a kind of a cool setting out in the woods there. And uh, this house has got two bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's about 1,320 square feet. Built in 1985, sitting on right about a half an acre. And what's interesting about this is you get an extra bathroom and you get about double the square footage here. And you get a similar type of setup between Blue Ridge to LJ. 
So, you know, it's costing about $20,000 more, but you get a little bit more house, you get an extra bathroom. So what did you think about that one? Was that interesting? Did you think, ah, oh, that's about right? Or was that kind of not really what you're expecting for Elgin? Okay, so next we're gonna go to another popular destination. This is another very popular place. In North Georgia, we're talking about Dahlonega, Georgia. Just a little bit of background, Dahlonega is very popular. There's a lot of wineries. You've got a lot of weddings that happen in uh, Dahlonega. The town square is really a quaint place for people to visit. It consistently gets voted as one of the best small towns in America to live in by Southern Living and other publications. Hallmark movies have been shot there. It's a really cool place. All right, so what can you get in Dahlonega for $410,000? This one is even further south, and this is more southeast from Blue Ridge and LJ. You're getting closer to Atlanta. Obviously, you're not right there in Atlanta. Dahlonega is about an hour north of Atlanta. All right, so what can you get in Dahlonega for $410,000, roughly? Check this house out right here. Like I mentioned, this house is $410,000. You got three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and you got 2,520 square feet. This house is built in 2001, and it sits on just over an acre, 1.01 acres. So what I'm seeing is, as you go a little bit further south, which is kind of interesting, you tend to find a little bit more square footage, maybe a little bit bigger lot size. Of course, as you can see on this house versus the two that we saw, one in LJ and one in Blue Ridge, this one looks like it's more in a neighborhood and not necessarily like that cabin feel that you typically associate with North Georgia. Hey, what'd you think? Was that a little bit surprising? Well, I don't know. You, gotta, you guys gotta give me some feedback in the comments and let me know what you thought. All right, and last but not least, we're gonna go down south to Cumming, Georgia. And when I say south, we're talking south of Blue Ridge. Cumming, Georgia is about 30 to 45 minutes north of Atlanta. And Cumming is definitely more of a suburb. It is still considered North Georgia, but it's definitely more of a suburb of Atlanta than it is a North Georgia resort town. Cumming, by contrast, you know, Blue Ridge, Ella J, Dahlonega might have, you know, 10, 20, 30,000 people. Uh, Cumming's got somewhere around 250 plus thousand people. So as you can see, we're talking more of a bedroom community, not really a resort community. Along with that comes higher home prices. Uh, you've got a lot of amenities in coming. You've got a lot of, you know, you've got a hospital there. You've got lots of shopping. You have all kinds of fun stuff to do in coming, Georgia. So let's take a look and see what you can get in coming for around $400,000. And right here, we've got a house that's listed at $406,000 in coming, Georgia. Got a one car garage. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, about 1,270 square feet, somewhere around there. This house was built in 1995. It sits on about a quarter acre lot. So what you seem to sacrifice is maybe you don't get quite as nice of a house, but you are also sort of in the middle of everything in coming Georgia. But yeah, this one was kind of interesting. You know, I mean, you've got a one car garage. You are in a more of a bedroom community. Uh, you guys gotta tell me what you think about this one too. Okay, so which location did you like the house, the example house the most? Did you like Blue Ridge, Ella J, Dahlonega, or Cumming? Were you surprised by any of them? Or are you like, yeah, that's about what I was expecting for those areas? Or, after seeing all this, are you just ready to buy a uh, shed from the parking lot of Home Depot for 150 grand and just plop it down on a piece of property? Okay, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for this video. I wanted to just kind of show you and give you an example of what you could expect. What did you think? Leave me some comments. Give me some feedback. Tell me what you thought about these houses. Of course, let me know if you have any questions. And as always, you can always reach out to me. Uh, my cell phone number and my email address is right here on the screen. That's about it. We'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. We'll talk soon.